Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, EAA helps streamline avionics certification, Hartzell acquires Skytech starters, Cub Crafters creates an introductory kit. I'm Brie Cross, it's April 7th, 2016, and this is Airborne Unlimited. The Light Sport Aircraft certification process that allows ASTM standards to be used for the purpose of certification is again finding its way into FAA type certificated aircraft. EAA, the FAA, and Dynon have worked together to make this happen. EAA, FAA, and Dynon officials said they have established a supplemental type certificate process for installation of the Dynon EFIS D10A as a replacement for a type certificated airplane's primary attitude indicator. This means amateur-built aircraft innovations can make their way into specific type certificated aircraft. Hartzell Engine Technologies has announced the company's acquisition of the Skytech brand of high-performance aircraft starters and solenoids. Mike Disbro, president of Hartzell Engine Technologies, said in part, quote, We have successfully completed the acquisition of one of the aviation industry's most respected brands, which significantly enhances our starter product line and adds solenoids as well. Rich Chiappi, partner of Skytech Partners, said, quote, Hartzell Engine Technologies will be the ideal home for the care and growth of the Skytech brand. Hartzell's leadership clearly appreciates the value of the Skytech brand and will be the brand's best caretakers. Disbro noted that Skytech has a strong position on Lycoming engines and Hartzell's strength in its Continental engine starters. He said that customers will further benefit when the best products of both businesses are together under one roof. Disbro added, quote, Skytech not only brings us a leadership position on Lycoming engines, it also adds new applications such as four-cylinder Continental and Rotax engines, Franklin engines, and other developing aircraft power plant technologies to our product portfolio. After the break, Cub Crafter says to start at the tail. Are you stall smart? Ever since Orville and Wilbur took to the skies, pilots have been taught that the more airspeed you have, the better off you are. But over the last 100 plus years, we've learned that's not always the case. Take stalls for example. The common belief is that if you have sufficient airspeed, the aircraft won't stall. The fact is, an airfoil always stalls at the same critical angle of attack in relation to the relative airflow, regardless of airspeed, configuration, or weight. Learn more at aspenavionics.com. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Since 2001, MGL Avionics has produced avionics for experimental and light sport aircraft. The flagship product is the IEFIS, a comprehensive next generation flight, engine, and navigation instrument designed to meet the demands of the modern pilot. See more at www.mglavionics.com. Redbird is quickly becoming the industry standard for flight training. Since Redbird introduced its revolutionary FMX in 2007, colleges, universities, and flight training operations around the world have integrated Redbird products into their curriculum. It's time to discover what Redbird can do for you. Join the migration. Welcome back. If you have a story suggestion for Airborne Unlimited, Aero TV, our website, or podcast, just email to news-spy at aero-news.net. If you're thinking of home building an airplane but feel intimidated with the concept of tube and fabric construction, Cub Crafters has figured a way to help you take baby steps. They have developed an easy entry into their popular kit program with the Carbon Cub EX2 Discovery Kit. The simple kit includes a rudder for the company's Carbon Cub EX2 aircraft kit, plus a polyfiber fabric envelope, tape, rivets, adhesive, sealer, and primer, everything a builder needs to complete the rudder assembly except paint. The kit includes a USB flash drive, builder's manual, and instructional video. The kit introduces builders to the Cub Crafter system and allows them to learn the process of covering a tube and fabric aircraft. Upon completion, Discovery Kit builders will have a finished rudder assembly and have a running start on their Carbon Cub EX2 Sport Utility aircraft. The Carbon Cub EX2 Discovery Kit will be available starting next month at a price of $999. Buyers of the Discovery Kit will receive a credit for the full value of the kit towards their purchase of the Carbon Cub EX2 Fuselage Kit. After these messages, Newark International Airport to increase traffic flow.
Concorde's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concorde's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concorde, the heart of your aircraft. Cub Crafters is unique in that we can design, prototype, and certify and put into production an aircraft. There aren't very many companies in the world that can make that claim. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. The FAA is opening up capacity at Newark Liberty International Airport in time for the winter 2016 scheduling season, a move that will increase access to the busiest airspace in the world. The airport is currently limited to 81 operations per hour. Free Flight Systems announced that the company is accepting orders for its 2301 next-gen GPS flight management system. The 2301 system is a flight management system that provides high-performance IFR navigation and GPS-based landing capability for fixed-wing and rotary-wing aircraft. Bell Helicopter affiliate McTurbine Incorporated has received certification from Honeywell International for an approved correlated test cell for the Honeywell T53 series engine. In 2015, McTurbine received authorization from Honeywell to serve as a licensed repair facility for the Honeywell T53. Robinson Helicopter Company announced that a collective activated hour meter, along with an updated hub and redesigned main rotor spindles, are standard on all new R22 Beta 2 helicopters. The collective activated hour meter reduces hour readings at warm-up power. Redbird Flight Simulation introduces a 10-part show titled Winging It that will explore unique corners of aviation training around the country. Brittany Macholka will travel to 10 locations across the country to promote pilot proficiency and showcase the best in aviation education. Well, that's the trip around the patch. Now let's move on to the rest of the news. An angle of attack indicator recognized as one of the most useful instruments for preventing loss of control accidents will now come as standard equipment on all new Cessna 172 Skyhawks and will be available on new Skylane 182s and Turbo Stationaire 206s. Textron's Doug May said, quote, Textron Aviation is constantly looking for innovative solutions for our piston customers and making the angle of attack system standard on all Skyhawk aircraft is a great example of bringing the latest technology to our products. We are thrilled to work with Safe Flight to bring this latest enhancement to the cockpit, providing an improved flying experience for our customers. The Safe Flight cockpit indicator provides trend and angle of attack information during all phases of the flight, which allows for instantaneous visual and audio feedback. Well, that's our program for today. Remember to get comprehensive real-time 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. Remember that Airborne Unlimited is streamed daily Monday through Friday with additional breaking news bulletins for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. Please join us in a growing roster of over 100 outstanding industry associations and organizations every weekday for the best in aviation and aerospace news from the staff of the Aero News Network, the aviation world's most comprehensive news and information resource.